Michael uh, make it home okay? Yeah, I think so. I offered to give him a ride, but uh, he wanted to be alone. Oh, I can't blame Michael. You know, Sabrina died and some son of a bitch took her life. And I tell you right now, that person needs to pay. Look, I know that Michael's hurting. And I know he wants this person caught. We all want him caught. I just don't like sitting on my hands, you know that, right? Okay, you don't like sitting on your hands. What are your options here? No, honestly, honestly, what are your options? This isn't your world, man. It's not like somebody from a rival family. You know, this is a serial killer. Completely different realm. So what, what am I supposed to do? Leave it up to the cops? Look how well that worked out with Julian. He's never gonna pay. He's walking around free, right? He's never gonna pay for ordering the hit on Duke. And guess what? He's coming after me. What's the matter? So Julian's coming after you, huh? Ah, so he says. This guy's brilliant. I mean, he just got acquitted of murder yesterday. Well, he must be feeling pretty good because I saw him and Ava at the Metro Court celebrating. Oh, Carly must have loved that. It gets even worse. Carly Carl and I just finished seeing Michael. Julian rolls up and he says, you, you, you better tell your son Morgan to watch out because he's getting into trouble that he can't handle. Okay, so clearly he's trying to provoke you. Right. So I said to him, He's threatening my son. He says, and I'm, and I'm coming after you. And your death will never be tied to me. You're going down. Carly know about this? She was right there. She heard the whole thing. How'd she react? Well, she thinks that Julian's bluffing. She wants me to leave it alone. You gonna leave it alone? There was a time when Julian wouldn't have been an issue because you just would have kind of handled the problem, if you know what I mean. Felt that coming. Can't be involved. Because he's Sam's father? No, because I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, understood. Understood. Okay. Look, you don't need to make a move here. You can wait. See what happens. Uh, we're gonna wait for him to come after me. Then I'm gonna give him the momentum. You remember I worked for this man, right? Yeah. It was like five minutes, but still, he talks a lot, makes a lot of threats, but he doesn't carry out anything. Actually, his boy Carlos did all his dirty work. Until he killed Carlos. Yeah, he killed him. He did. He stabbed his friend in the back, and then he pulled a knife out on his wife. That's the type of guy this guy is. He's a coward. He's too afraid of you to make a move. He's not gonna do anything. You want me to bet my life on that? No, actually. I'd like you to be smarter than he is. Maybe not let him goad you into making a mistake that's gonna backfire on you. So uh, I can't promise you how I'm gonna handle this thing with Julian. Sorry, I can't help. Yeah, well, so am I.